Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I have three jerseys presented here. All three of them are the Swingman jerseys that Adidas has manufactured. And it's actually the three different generations of the Swingman jerseys of Adidas. So we have the first generation here, second gen in the middle, and third generation here. So I'm gonna talk about some of the differences between these three jerseys so you guys can be more educated if let's say you're interested in buying one in the aftermarket like eBay or Facebook Marketplace to help you identify what makes an authentic Adidas NBA Swingman jersey. Again, this is the Swingman line, not the authentic line. I personally have more interest in the Swingman line because it's just more affordable in my budget because I'm a student right now. So let's begin with the first generation. We have the LeBron James jersey here. And if you start on um, just upon close inspection, you can see that the polyester uh, base, there's prominent mesh holes in this jersey, right? So if I were to compare this first generation to the second and the third, the first generation has the most prominent in terms of the finish with the holes. The first thing you wanna look for in an authentic uh, first generation jersey is this, uh, the jock tag here on the bottom right or if you're wearing it your bottom left right so this is a men's small it does run pretty long but this does fit me according to like my chest size um, it just takes practice to identify what's a real jock tag and what's not so on these jerseys the S has this kind of trim looking font you have the team logo here along with the NBA logo on the left and of course the Adidas and Length Plus 2 and this one here. Make sure when you look at the jock tag that the NBA logo looks like Jerry West and not some alien or some, you know, misformed or like weird looking humanoid. Moving on to the letters and the numbers. They are stitched onto the jersey, right? And this applies also with the back of the jersey. So if I take a look at, right, this is LeBron James. Look at the lettering or look at the stitch finish of the letters they are neatly individually outlined in the fake swingman jerseys i do have a few i'm not going to show them here you will see like a line that kind of connects them so that's how you know it's fake but in the real ones you see the stitching here it's nice and clean finish the nba logo should look like you know nba logo adidas logo here and the one final marker for verification I like to look at is the tag on top with the washing tag. So the first generations have it on the back of the neck. Flip this over, right? It tells you where it was made. Honduras, 100% polyester. It actually also tells you the year that it was made. So if I look at the style number here, 7993A and then 06, that 06 at the end is indicative of the year it was made. So 2006 was when this jersey was made. Okay, so that's for the first generation. Second generation here, we have the Damian Lillard Rip City variant. I look at the jock tag, it's slightly different than the first generation. So this is this men's medium. It doesn't have the team logo anymore, right? So if I compare this to the first generation, right, the team logos here, this one has the Adidas, the NBA logo, and the size. And this particular jersey doesn't have this little small tag. I'm not sure why, but the second generation jerseys do have that. So just like the first generation, these jerseys are also stitched. However, look at the finish, right? So the first gen has like the prominent holes. The second gen, not so much. It's got like a more solid finish. The letters and numbers are stitched on, right? You got the Adidas logo on the top uh, left, because I'm looking at it right here. And the NBA logo here. And around the neck is where it tells you that it was made in Nicaragua and the size and Adidas. So where's the washing tag in this case for the second generations? You gotta kind of go inside the jersey. It's kind of like on this side. There it is, it tells you, right? Style number and then 13 is the year it was made. So 2013. If I wanna flip more, the second generations and the third generations, they're similar in having this second tag for like verification, I guess. It tells you August of 2013 was when this jersey was made. And also, if I wanted to look at the stitching, this Rip City variant has really impeccable stitching and finishing. Look at that, right? So the fake ones will never have finishing that's that clean. Okay, last one here, third generation. Um, look at the jock tag. 
Some of the jerseys have like another tag, like a team slogan or whatever down here. But the jock tag is very different. It says Swingman on here, along with the size, okay? The numbers and the letters are not stitched in the third generation. They are heat pressed. And I think starting in the 2014-15 season, the NBA decided to move their logo from the front of the jersey to the back of the jersey right here. So if I take a look at the neck, right, this is similar to the second gen that has this like pattern here with the country it was made and the size. And similar to the second gen, you go inside the jersey, right? So like kind of behind the job tag, go inside the jersey, trying to look for this uh, tag, right? So the washing tag is here, tells you the style number, 16. So 2016 is when it was made, flip it over, boom, August of 2016, Adidas official. And if I keep looking through inside this jersey, you're not going to see any stitch patterns. You see third generations with stitching, that's fake. Also, the base is slightly more, I guess they have like more, um, like a, it's like a crossbreed of like the first generation and second generation in terms of the polyester finish. I think it's more breathable. I do find the third generations to be very comfortable to wear and more of like an athletic fit. Okay, so if I flip this to the back, you guys can see same thing here, right? So the letters and numbers, along with the NBA logo, is heat pressed onto the jersey. Hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or questions about the Adidas jerseys, right? The Adidas Swingman line, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you out. Take care.